So since the release of iOS 17 and new features like name drop, share play, a lot of you guys had concern in regards to a lot of these sharing options on your iPhone. So in today's video, I want to go over a few privacy settings on your iPhone that you need to turn off or even consider turning off for privacy reasons. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So all the features I'll be talking about today are already turned on on your iPhone, rather you know it or not, Apple has already enabled these features by default. However, I think Apple should be asking users before before they enable these features automatically. And I wanna start off with Apple Music and SharePlay. Have you ever jumped into someone's car and then you get on the bottom of your lock screen this request here to start SharePlay? Well, this feature is really cool, right? Because someone in your contacts can discover you and request to SharePlay in the vehicle, which allows them to control the music as well. But if you don't want them to discover you, all you have to do is go into settings, jump into music, scroll all the way to the bottom, and right there it is, discoverable by nearby contacts. This option here, if you turn this off, no one in your contacts will be able to request any share play features for Apple Music in the vehicle. I think it's sort of annoying to get the pop up every time you jump into someone's car, but if you want to turn that off, that is how you do it. Now, the next feature I want to talk about is a really cool iOS 17 feature you probably already know about. It is Name Drop. Now, Name Drop allows you to swap contact information with another iOS user by simply holding two iPhones next to each other. But this feature is on by default and not everyone uses the feature by the way if you turn this off it could help you save a little bit of battery life so here's how it works obviously if you by accident place two iPhones next to each other the name drop feature could trigger automatically on your device without you even knowing so right now you see I have these two iPhones sitting next to each other and in about five seconds they start that name drop request now again you can share things like phone number and email photos and videos and things of that nature but it just continues to go it gets so annoying at times when two iPhones are just sitting next to each other. Now keep in mind, name drop is not sharing any information whatsoever with another user without your consent, but it can get really annoying. So you want to go into settings, general, name drop, and if you want to go ahead and turn this off right there, it is bring devices together. So again, that's going to be settings, general, airdrop, excuse me, and then right there you want to turn off, bring devices together. Now, once you hold two iPhones next to each other or place them next to each other or one another, you see right there that name drop does not enable on your iPhone. There's no request happening there. So yeah, name drop is a feature that's on by default, so make sure you turn it off if you don't like it or use it, and it'll help you save a little bit of battery life as well. Now, the next feature I want to talk about, this one has been somewhat controversial, and it has to do with Apple's journal application. It is the feature under privacy discoverable by others. So if we go into settings and we go into the privacy and security options and we scroll down, you find the journal suggestions. Now, Apple mentions that this feature does not share your personal information with others. It only prioritizes their suggestions for the Apple journal application. However, a lot of users seem concerned because discoverable by others means others will know you're around. So how is the phone actually prioritizing their suggestions and things of that nature based on your device? but Apple says your information is not being shared. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. So if you don't feel comfortable, you can turn it off right there for journal. And if you don't even use the journal application, obviously all you want to do is just make sure you delete the journal app and you get rid of the issue altogether. But yeah, if you do use journal and don't want that discoverable by other feature to be enabled, you can turn it off right there under privacy in a journal suggestion. So this one again was a bit controversial because of its nature. Now two additional options that I think you should definitely look into or even turn off immediately after watching this video. I think Apple should always ask users in regards to these two options. Number one, privacy and security, location services. You wanna scroll all the way to the bottom right here. We have system services and I've always mentioned this one right there, significant location. This is a feature that's constantly tracking you everywhere you you go to give you suggestions and relevant information with an Apple Maps and things like that. But it is a privacy violation, in my opinion. Apple needs to be asking users, do you want significant location to be turned on? Because if I go into this option here, right now you see that it's recorded 406 locations where I've been. I think that is kind of not cool. And I think Apple should be letting users know significant location is enabled. Although Apple mentions that this feature and information cannot be share with others or viewed by Apple. I think Apple still needs to be a little more transparent and explain those significant location options, what is used for, and ask users if they want to enable the option or not. And last but not least, we want to go into privacy once again, and then you want to go into tracking. So this option up top,
top here is on by default allow apps to request to track so if you want apps to track you obviously you want to enable this options down here for each individual application however if you no longer want any app to automatically track you or even request to track you can turn this option off and all requests will automatically be denied for any app in the future as well obviously i don't think anyone wants any app to track them across their products and services and website i think this option should just be turned off by default but apple enables it on your iphone and these are going to be a handful of settings and privacy features features on your iPhone, you should definitely look into and perhaps even turn off after watching this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.